Hey guys, it's Alan Coupon Gal bringing you um, my promised video. Okay, sorry it's so late, um, but I wanted to double check on my information before I recorded this video. I actually had recorded another video, but I wanted to verify the information before I uploaded it. So what I did is I went back to CVS tonight when I re returned the greeting card that I bought that was $349, the American Greetings greeting card that I bought that was $349. I went and exchanged it tonight. And what I did is um, I had my cell phone on record in my pocket. And I asked the manager that was on, um, on duty tonight about the, um, what it's called, bear with me, it's called the Coupon Viper system. Okay, and I'm glad I went to verify the information because what I thought it was was computer software that they were putting on the registers that once they scanned the coupon with the little gun that it would recognize whether it was a fraudulent coupon or not um, or maybe verified the coupon. But tonight when I went and asked, and it was a different manager tonight, um, let me back up a little bit. Okay, so yesterday when I went, I was talking to the kid, not the kid, that was mean, that was rude. Um, I was talking to the, uh, cashier, and he's a shift manager. Um, and when I was speaking to him, um, we were talking about this coupon Viper. Um, I noticed that he was reading something, and it was talking about stop coupon fraud and he showed me a coupon that was photocopied and what he was asking because he knows I'm a couponer and he knows that um, I kind of know a little bit about coupons I am no, in no means a coupon expert I haven't been at this long enough to know all that I need to know but I do know a little bit I coupon frequently and he knows this obviously being a cashier at CVS that's where I coupon the most um, he said, I think that one of my cashiers earlier accepted a fraudulent coupon. Um, you want to look at it? And I said, sure. I was kind of curious, actually. So he showed me this coupon for Crest White Strips. First, The first thing that tipped me off that I knew it was either expired or fraudulent, that it, the value of it was $7. Any couponer who has been getting P&G coupons knows that we haven't gotten a P&G coupon for $7 off White Strips in quite a long time. So the first thing I thought was that it was expired, at the very least. So when I looked at it closer, I do this. This is the only second time I've done this on the webcam. I just don't like the angle. Anyways, um, I thought it was probably expired. So when I looked at it closer, I noticed that the expiration date was June 30th. So I felt it. It was paper. So I really took a good look at it, and I could see it was a package insert. It was product pack product packaging. They photocopied the coupon from inside the product packaging, and you could see um, where it was folded up inside. The photocopy of it caught the shadows. It was a mess. It was a hot mess. But the cashier earlier was a young girl, new new cashier. So she really didn't pay too much attention. And it didn't scan. But the excuse from the customer was that, um, if I get this right, I'm pretty sure they, they had tried to weather the paper. And that was their excuse. It was all folded up and crumpled. So she went ahead and manually put it in. So... Um, that's what kind of sparked this conversation about this coupon viper so i was under the impression he said that he had to study for this test and in order for them to operate this what i thought was software they have to pass this test they taking this class for this program and then they have to pass this test in order to operate it and i thought it was software the way that he spoke about it it sounded like it was software that was going to be installed on the registers um so I did a video on it earlier, and before I uploaded it, I wanted to double check before I brought the information to you guys, because far be it from me to bring incorrect information and have it spread on YouTube that 
I'm getting everybody in a panic over nothing. So I went to CVS again tonight when I went to return my cards, my greeting cards, card rather, and I went to exchange it for a 99 cent one. And the manager that was there tonight um, is a little higher ranking and he had a definite, he had more, way more information about it and he had statistics and everything. So I went in and I asked and immediately he said, um, that I wasn't supposed to know about it. Um, he was actually a little bit like irritated that this cashier, this shift manager had spoken to me about it. And I immediately apologized. And I, I told him I'm Nebby <laughs> and that I had been asking questions and th this cashier is such a sweetheart. I said, you know, please don't be upset with him. I, I poked, I prodded, I pushed for the information and you know, I think I pre I'm pretty sure I smoothed it over because then he in turn answered tons of questions for me as well. So he proceeded to tell me that it's not computer software installed on the register. This is a, sh a separate machine in addition to the registers. They're starting it off in a small CVS test market. Eventually, if it is successful in these CVS test markets, it will be CVS nationwide. He said it could be one week from now, it could be six months from now, but it will be CVS nationwide because they're only getting compensated for 45% of the coupons that they accept. 45%. That's insane. That's pathetic, actually. No wonder that they're so... Some stores, not all stores, but no wonder some stores are so tight when it comes to coupons. I mean, do you, do you really blame them after hearing that statistic? I don't. <clears throat> um, so, it's a separate machine. And he even said, and I'm kind of debating whether I should... um play this back for you guys it's really long it's like 12 minutes long you can't see anything but you can hear everything um it's a separate machine and what it does and he said this it's gonna be so time consuming for people he said especially for people like you who do a lot of coupons each and every coupon has to be inserted into this machine to verify it he, he compared it to the check fraud machines where you insert the check that verifies the check's origin and whether it's, um, whether it's, it authenticates it, basically. Um, he said for someone who has a stack of coupons, it's going to be, it is not time efficient. It's going to be time consuming. For the way that the shifts work, they're not going to be allowing for extra time for this. As far as like the way that they do the shifts for the, um, for the employees, the way that they set up for, um, for stacking the employees to have employees on a shift. They're not allowing for extra employees on board, on shifts. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna create jammed lines. It's gonna create kind of like a backlog in traffic as far as um, uh, jammed lines. It's, it's gonna create um, packed lines, uh, longer lines, hassle at the checkout, I've never seen self-checkouts in my my stores, so I don't know how that would affect self-checkout lines. Not quite sure how that'll work. Um, it, it's going to be pretty tight, guys. It, it's going to be... This is going to be a game changer. Completely change the way we coupon. Now, granted, people who don't mutilate, copy, or fraudulently alter or whatever coupons... It's not going to alter um, how we shop because as long as you're doing the thing right, that's fine. It's a matter of time and um, fluidity. It's just going to complicate things. Um, 
It's going to make things run not as smoothly. It's going to um, make other customers even more PO'd when they see you with a stack of coupons. Um, on the flip side, CVS isn't going to be as skeptical. The, the cashiers, anyway, aren't going to be as skeptical. When you do have your valid coupons, at least they're going to know they're valid. So whenever they can run it through this machine. However, there's probably going to be glitches with the machine. When it is a valid coupon, I'm sure. It's not perfect. It is a machine. It's not a human. So there are going to be coupons that are not going to be able to sneak through. And the fact that it's a machine that's supposed to be able to detect whether it is a valid coupon, even though you're going to meet the size requirements, um you know, quantity requirements, uh, item requirement, it's probably going to be a pain in the neck and there are going to be matchup problems. You know what I'm saying? Where you are going to purchase the required item and it's still not going to match up and they're going to be hesitant to push the coupon through, you know? This is a game changer, but um, this is information we're not supposed to have yet. So, But I, I do feel like it's my job to to put it out there since I was able to stumble upon it by accident. Um, now, as far as the BOGO coupons go, I did find out some information about that as well. Um, at my CVS, the way that the registers are set up, no matter what barcode is scanned, it's going to prompt my um, cashiers to enter in the value. Now, when I was asking them about the max value being taken off they told me that during a sale it's always going to trigger the sale price to be taken off so i'll use the biore as an example when the biore was not on sale when the coupons first came out and you were still needing to reach that 15 dollar mark to get the five taken off it was taking the max value off because they weren't on sale you know, understand what I mean? So this past week, they were, what, $6, 2 for 12 something like that. So the register was triggered by the sale price, and that's why the max value wasn't taken off. So I hope that answers some questions. Also, it does matter which, when you take your, um, sorry, when you scan your extra care card, because what, like, for instance, when the head and shoulders coupon, that is, um, that is a coupon where um, you always have to enter in the, the uh, value no matter what register you have because there are not two barcodes on it. Um, and if you scan your bar, if you scan your extra care card first, it's going to show the cashier the sale price. If you scan your extra care card at the end, it's going to be showing your cashier the regular price of $5.99. So I hope that kind of clears things up. I hope I'm being clear on that. If you have any questions about that, please feel free to um, ask in the comments or private message me. But I know there was some like hot disputes and some heated, you know, some issues about that this week because the Biore coupon had been taking off the $9 max value up until this week. And some people thought that it was like some new issues with the register when in fact it was this, the fact that it's on sale this week that is the reason it's not taking off the max value. So no need to get alarmed. It's not the register or new register issues. It's the fact that Biore is on sale this week. Um, it wasn't on sale until this week. But there are some CVSs where no matter what, they have to enter in the value of the coupon, I'm sorry, the value of the product on the coupon no matter whether it's on sale or not. So we're not going to get the max value of the coupon. So I hope I've helped in maybe some small way to some people, hopefully a lot of people. If you have any questions, please ask, ask away. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.